let's get started on making some painted paper for these really cool birdhouses. There's a couple of choices. It depends on how you want to complete it. So on your piece of paper that has your birdhouse shape, your pentagon shape, grab some paint and a paintbrush and let's get started on making some painted paper. For this first part of the project, I'm just going to start painting one color onto my paper. This color sort of blends into the paper and makes it so that you'll have a color underneath your second color. So when I place the second color on top of my first color, you can leave it the way that it is, or you can take the end of your paintbrush and start making some really cool painted designs in with your um, paintbrush. I'll show you a second way of doing this in, if for the second example. Now, I'm going to go ahead while that is drying and start working on some more of my birdhouse. So I took my circle template and I began folding my black piece of paper so that it gives me an opening for my birdhouse. So once I've got those circles cut out, I'm going to set those aside so that I can use them later in the project. Now, again, my paint's not all the way dry yet, so I'm going to grab some white pieces of paper and I always draw light until I've got it right. I'm looking at a picture of a bird so that I can decide what I want my bird to look like. And as I've drawn my bird, I'm going to go ahead and get my pencil lines a little darker once I've got the shape that it reminds me of. It almost reminds me of a teardrop shape with a circular shape for the head, and I've connected the two together with a light pencil. Once it looks more bird-like, then I'll start to decorate and make those designs a little bit thicker with my pencil. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment, add some feathers for the wing, and I think it's going to need another part for the tail and another leg. There, once I've got it the way that I like it, I'm going to take my black Sharpie and outline all over top of my pencil line so that you can see it a little bit better. Now that I've got my bird sitting aside, I'm going to go ahead and take out my scissors and cut out the pentagon shape. I'll also take three craft sticks and start adding them on to the birdhouse, like so. Lastly, let's get that bird out again and cut out the overall shape now that it's colored and designed. Deciding where I want to place it, and on the back side, using a little bit of ribbon, putting my name on it, and now I've got my project complete. Another idea that you could try is, once again, starting out in the same way, only I'm using some different colors. I'm going to start out with my lightest color of pink, I'm grabbing a toilet paper roll and putting some printmaking on top of the painted paper with some blue and some yellow. Just another idea of painted paper. While that's drying, let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and take a moment and draw out my bird shape. This is a different bird that I'm looking at this time, so you use whatever kind of bird shape that you would like from the provided ideas. Again, tip of the day, remember draw a light until you've got it right. Once you've drawn it in pencil, take a Sharpie and go ahead and outline your pencil work. I'm going to also take my oil pastels and start drawing that and adding in some oil pastel designs, giving it a little bit of shadow and shade. Okay, now once my paint is dry, grab my house, add on the details and designs, three craft sticks, and this time instead of hanging, letting it be able to hang, I'm going to go ahead and add on a background. So the choice is up to you, whichever one that you prefer, whichever one you'd like to do, um, you decide how you'd like to finish it. I'm going to go ahead and my, make my oil pastels into my interesting background some clouds, a tree that my tree house is hanging from, and some flowers into the background. You'll notice that I'm constantly switching colors so that it's not just one color for my flowers, but also thinking about highlights and shadows to make it look a little bit more dimensional.
I love the way that this is starting to look. I hope you had fun making your own project with this painted paper birdhouse. Have a great day everyone!